and welcome to Gargoyle Knits. My name's Anita and this is where I share my knitting, sewing and crafting. And today I have all three of those things for you. I in knitting I have a hoe, a faux and in sewing it's more in the early stages and then at the end I've got a little video of how I upcycled my dresser. And I consider that to be crafting so I shall put that at the end. Right, let's get straight in with the knitting. I have been knitting for quite a while the snow bottom knits for my mum and I have actually finished them. So I altered them slightly in that I've turned them into fingerless mitts and I just really had to do the thumbs and wash and block them. So they're all ready for her now. And Jodie said, why don't I keep them and give them to her on Mother's Day, which is next Sunday, March the 10th in, in Britain. I know in America and maybe other countries you celebrate on a different day. So I'm going to wrap those up for her with a few other little bits and pieces for Mother's Day. And then my foe is a sock. I've actually finished a sock. And here it is, <laughs> a tiny one. Obviously, if you've watched before, you know this is my favourite baby sock pattern, the, um, and it's the Baby Socks by Kate Athley. Every time I finish a pair, I get asked to knit some more, and these are for a little boy who's due soon, and I have got the second one well underway. I've turned for the heel, and now I'm just going to be going straight down the foot, so they are very, very near, nearly finished. And in sewing, I just suddenly had the urge to make something, to sew something. I haven't sewn anything for ages and I haven't felt like it and it doesn't bother me if I have or haven't. I just craft whatever I fancy making, if I fancy knitting, crochet, painting, but I have had the urge to sew again and I thought I'd ease myself in gently with something quite simple. And Jodie and Matthew bought me the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book for Christmas and I haven't made anything from there yet. So I've decided to make the Sophia trousers and they are nice and simple. There's only two pattern pieces. It's an elasticated waist. I have got the fabric out from under my bed. One plastic box is all I have now for stash and I found this Linen Look Viscose. I've got just over two metres in this navy colourway. It's lovely and drapey. It's quite it's quite thin, but that's okay. I will just, these will be a sort of practice to ease myself back into sewing and I can wear them around the house so it doesn't really matter if they're quite see-through or just put a t-shirt or something over them. So I'm going to start that. I have traced out and cut out the pattern and I will hopefully some point later on today or tomorrow, because we're on Saturday the 2nd of March today. So I've got another one day of the weekend. So I'll hopefully cut the fabric out then. I've got Jodie and Matthew and the boys coming over for Sunday lunch tomorrow, so I probably won't have that much time to myself. But if I do, I'll cut them out and hopefully sew them next weekend. I forgot to say at the beginning that I am wearing the Cranberry Crush Cardigan by Louisa Harding and it is a pattern on Ravelry although I knit it from a pattern in a magazine and it was the most complicated pattern I've ever knitted with all the lace work because of the way the charts were in the magazine. I'm hoping if you did get the pattern on Ravelry it would be a lot easier but I found it very difficult. Uh, but I am glad that I finished it and feel proud that I have <laughs> and it's lovely and warm. I just thought I'd mention that because I know one of my lovely viewers, Jenny, the other week, she liked the jumper I was wearing, the J sweater, and I didn't say what it was, so she had to do a bit of sleuthing. And then when she looked on my Ravelry page, I had the J sweater on there, but I didn't have any pictures of it. So I'm really sorry, Jenny. I will try and do better, I promise. And for crafting, I have my dresser to show you. I have put together a little video, it's only about a minute and a half long, of 
how I paired the dresser and painted it and put it back in position. So I hope you enjoy that. It was quite fun to make and I will see you all again next week. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.